What do we use V for in Vim? We use it to make visual selections. And we can do that in a number of ways. What's up? I'm Jantastic and welcome to another day in our short course on the Vim alphabet, covering Vim from A to Z. Today's letter is V. And V is how we make a visual selection in Vim. Now this is an actual mode. So like insert mode or replace mode or all of the other modes, V enters you into a unique mode. Now it allows you to make selections before running a command. So we've seen in a lot of our letters before, we can use like C or like capital C to change all the way to the end of a line. Um, the same with S. We have ways to like change all the way through to the end of a line. However, we can also use Vim to make visual selections, much like the same way that we would take a mouse and kind of grab some text. Let me show you by opening a editor. We'll open Vim with the quick brown text file. Now, there are a handful of ways to use visual mode. The first is the lowercase v. So if we hit v, uh, it'll take us into visual mode. And we can see that in the bottom left hand corner. Now we can use our navigation. So like E will take us to the end of the next or, or the current or next word. Uh, so we can use E to make a visual selection. We can also use B to go back. We're in visual selection mode. So instead of just moving our cursor, we're starting our cursor to place and then kind of deciding where else we want to take that. Uh, we can use J to go down, K to go back up. We can do dollar sign to go all the way to the end of a line. We can do anything that we would in Vim navigation to make a visual selection. Now, once we have our visual selection made up, we can use um, editing commands like S to delete that and put us into insert mode to uh, write something else. Okay, so uh, I can hit escape undo and we're back where we were before. So that's lowercase v. We can make a visual selection using all of those commands. Now, uppercase v will do a full line visual selection. I, I can't remember, I think this is called like blockwise or line, line wise, that's what it is. A line wise visual selection. So we would do uh, capital V and we can just go up and down. Um, but this will select these full lines. If I hit D right now, it'll delete those three lines. Um, this is very handy if you want to operate on lines, not just text. We'll hit U to undo that. And I wanna show you the, <laughs> the third way to make a visual selection. That is with Control V. So I'm gonna go to the word brown here, and I'm going to do a visual block selection. Now you can see that this is a little bit different. This is a visual block selection. And um, with this, I can go across lines. It's kind of like a hybrid. So I can go across lines, I can go down and then select the end, use E to select the end of this word. So I've selected this word across all of my lines. Now I can use S to substitute that with something else. Um, you can say the quick blue fox. Now it doesn't change all of these in place yet. That'll happen when I hit escape out of insert mode, it will go and it will replace all of those across those lines. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know about V or at least the ways that I use it most often. If you need help, you can do the command colon help or H for short, type V and boom, you have all the information about V. Now this command does select a count if you wanted to use it that way. Uh, you're free to explore that on your own. Now that's it for me and V today. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. If you have any special ways that you love using V, feel free to reply or put those in the comments too for anyone else who decides to watch this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with W.